Hey, I'm Paul Butler. I'm one of the client partners at New Leaf Training and Development, and I'm so delighted to be joined today by my friend and co-worker, Bob Foos. Bob, this program, uh, Performance Management and Conducting Effective Reviews, what, what's that all about? Yeah, well, it, it's as simple as what it's called. And so we're going to talk about how do you as a leader and as a manager really get the best out of your people. And so what we found is that there are certain a certain mindset and a certain skill set that will really help leaders and managers manage performance well. And so we're going to talk about how do you give effective feedback? How do you have those conversations, uh, track goals, you know, make sure that people are staying on top of the things that they've committed to and that you as a leader can hold them accountable. So we'll be really focusing our time on those things. Bob, I obviously know you well, but for someone that doesn't know you well, what's your credibility to facilitate a conversation on something as important as this? Important as this? Yeah, so certainly uh, have looked at it from a scholarly standpoint. So I have a master's degree in leadership development, also have a graduate certificate in organizational development. So I've studied a lot of the research around, uh, you know, how do we help people perform at a high level? How do we help teams and leaders do well. And then I spent uh, about 26 years of my career working with a global organization where I led uh, teams, uh, both uh, co-located teams and virtual teams and hybrid teams. And I've had a lot of experience in not only doing my own performance reviews for teams that I've led, but helping other leaders and managers be effective at those as well. Hmm. Um, Bob, whenever I've sat in sessions as a participant, I always like to connect with the facilitator. So Tell us a little bit more about Bob. Yeah, so I live in Southern California, originally from the Midwest, though. So I'm still, uh, my Wisconsin roots are still pretty deep. So still a Packer fan and a Badger fan. No offense to anybody else. Uh, and I would say that I like to spend some of my weekends sometimes just searching Orange County for the perfect chocolate chip cookie. Bob, thanks ever so much for taking a couple of minutes with us. I'm sure people are going to find this super useful. Thanks, Bob. Thanks, Paul. Looking forward to it.